Ready? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> right, drop it in. Where do I look anyway? I don't know. How, I don't know what You're I'm looking, doing on the. This is my look. first dirt shed show, dude. I don't know what I'm doing. Right, just look into my eyes. Only into my eyes. My eyes. My eyes are here. <laughs> there yeah. we go. All into those beautiful people's eyes as well. Right, what are we talking about? Hardtails. Hardtails. Yes. I like hardtails. Richard, actually. You I like really it? like hardtails yeah? a lot. Yeah. <laughs> really. You Loads. <laughs> Is it getting Ooh. hot in the man? Is it hot? <laughs> oh, I got all red. Good energy. Now we're going to do it. I'm <laughs> good. good. We're going to talk about the foundations of pure mountain biking. You must be talking about hardtails. I am indeed, Ollie Wilkins. Yes, and we've got the rest of the show coming up. Yes, welcome to this week's Dirt Shade Show, and I got someone very special in here to host this with me, co-host actually, Ollie Wilkins, everyone. Thank you very much. I'm How excited to be here. Oh, I'm so good. We're actually upgraded, Mr. Ashton, or do we say downgraded? Oh, no, I'm not we're gonna sure upgrade. It's an upgrade. An upgrade. Anyway, mm. this week we're talking about hardtails being the absolute foundation to mountain biking, isn't that right? I'd agree, we both started on. We definitely both started on many, many moons ago. Many moons ago. So, the, the, the crucial question is, is Hardtail the foundation, or is it just like a cheap route into mountain biking itself? Well, do you know what, Blake? I think it can be both. Right, yes. How about that? I agree. Yeah, because it does teach you more. It teaches you like skills that you can't necessarily learn on a full suspension bike. Something to consider. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it is definitely cheaper. Oh, it definitely is cheaper, yeah, because yeah. some of those mountain bikes, the full sus, is uh, rather expensive. Spenny. Now, if you were to spend something like, like super cheap and get the same amount that you would spend on a full sus, but on a hardtail, you would get more for your bike on a hardtail with the money you would spend on a full sus. And you get more people doing it and more people riding. Yeah. But you can learn a lot from the hardtail. All those fundamental skills that you can do and it makes it more accessible than thinking way out the box like, I need a full sus. Hardtails is where it is at. The problem is, I don't know what extra stuff I would have learned if I could have had one of those kids full suspension bikes. Because kids bikes are very good now, aren't All they? Very good right now, yeah. Yeah, and like I learned before you could get a good bike almost. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whether kids these days are going to have, they're going to be so much they're going to even be better than Blake Sampson. They're, and Ollie Wilkins. <laughs> Don't we? Mm, might. They might not be better than me, but... <laughs> anyway, hardtails, I feel like, is the, the, core, the core recipe for being a true mountain biker. Yeah. Like if you haven't even touched a hardtail, I feel like you haven't even, like, lived in a true mountain biking world. Really, yeah. Do you know what I, mean? I yeah. think that. Like, for us, we started dirt jumping yeah and the first bike was a my first bike was 24 inches well actually it had rigid forks anyway so I could feel I everything it. I could feel the you know you I could feel it. every bump and it was painful mm -hmm. and it wasn't very good no <laughs> it wasn't very <laughs> but, good but I learned a lot from that experience I didn't get away with anything the bike wasn't doing anything for me mm -hmm. maybe that's what we're getting at maybe you're learning yeah the hard way Hardtail way. A tough love. To get, it is tough love. But I remember <laughs> the bike you were riding. It was a, it was a DMR. Yeah. Sidekickle trail star. Sidekick. Yeah. Green. Well, with yeah, white green, forks yeah. or black or grey. Then you had that a raw was, one. That's yeah. That's quite trick. The green one, wasn't the it? The green one was good. I actually got that one as well. But it hurt. It, it used to hurt your wrists. Yeah. When you got it wrong, it hurt your wrists. Yeah. It was like an oversized BMX. Yeah. It was more harsh on the parts as well. Mm -hmm. So we say it's cheaper, but you did end up, you did used to break more things. <laughs> you did, yeah. 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 But um, hardtails, are, it is, it is the, the true line of mountain biking. Do you know what also I think it does? It limits the speed you go down something. Because if you can just rigor mortis on a mm -hmm. bike, just sit on the bike yeah. and, and go into rigor mortis, yeah. a modern bike is much more likely to get you down the hill True. than a hardtail. A hardtail, the, it might be quite bad if you yeah. 
rigor mortis. Yeah. I don't know if that's a term that anyone uses rigor mortis on it. I think it is now. Yeah. 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 No, I think it's a really good terminology or yeah. what you would do on it's a It's a good time. experiment, actually. Is, we should yeah. strap ourselves to old bikes and new bikes and not move our bodies and, and see then what go would down happen. yeah, rock gardens. You can sign yourself up for that. <laughs> anyway, we've got so much coming up on the show. Hardtails being absolute the foundation to mountain biking for sure. But coming up right now is news from Tom. What's up everyone? More team signings this week and mercifully we finally got a bunch of other stuff to talk about as well. Let's pick up where we left off though last week with teams. Two new team announcements this week with the launch of another Canyon Collective team bringing the number on the downhill circuit to three with Factory and FMD being joined by Pirelli. Much more of a focus on development for the Canyon Pirelli team with the young international lineup of Loris Ravelli, Anton Pieron, Dante Silva and Henry Kiefer. Taken to the start hut against them will be the Gamux Factory Racing, consisting of Lino Lehman and, I'm sorry for the pronunciation here on out, Loris Michelot and Mike Hooter. Sticking with teams now, the Commensal Factory Enduro team will be racing under the name Commensal Les Ors for 2021 after picking up that location title sponsor and they've also signed Swiss rider Lisa Bauman. Also, the Athersons have signed junior racer Dominic Platt and 20-year-old Jim Monroe and are planning on the exciting return of both G and Rach back between the tapes again this year. In a banging move for him, Evan Wall moves on to Da Vinci and George Brannigan has joined the NS Bikes UR team. Keeping things Kiwi, MS Mondraker has signed young Tohuto Iriki Pene, who I really think has been solidifying himself as one to watch in the recent years. Stoked to see him on a big team. Braga Vestovic has picked himself up a Red Bull helmet after some incredible edits and what was shaping up to be an unbelievable rampage. The slope star world now, Eric Fedko will be riding YT bikes for the foreseeable future and in a move that took most people by surprise, Brett Reader has decided to move on from Trek. After nine years on the Trek C3 project, winning Rampage, X Games, Crankworks and the FMB, as well as huge filming projects like Not Bad, Unreal and Return to Earth, he's moving on. It's going to be initially quite weird seeing him ride something else, I think. But who do you think will snap Reader up? All right, let's get into some tech headlines now. There have been plenty of new pedals from the best coast, the west coast, with both Raceface and PNW components dropping new flats. Raceface have remodeled the Atlas after a fair old while, actually, and PNW are new to the market with their loam pedals. Fulcrum are adding to their MTB lineup with a carbon range of the Red Zone XC wheels and Rafa are jumping knees first into the protection world with the release of a pedal-friendly trail knee pad. SRAM have acquired the bike computer, GPS and tech company Hammerhead, filling out one of the only remaining gaps in the brand's component and tech lineups as well. Goes without saying that I've only had time to touch on a lot of the tech highlights this week. Uh, Doddy over on the tech channel has you covered in next Wednesday's show. If you want to learn more about cutting edge bike tech, go ahead, give them a watch and uh, definitely subscribe. Okay, that's all for me this week, but stick around because Toff's got something sick. Enjoy. Cheers, Tom. Hey, everyone. Right, this week's sickest thing are these crazy new clips from Marcel Hunt absolutely destroying the step up. First, he posted these clips asking people what they thought was harder. I mean, he did a buzzbin to buzzbin back to manual, a tail whip to manual, and then a back flip to manual. It's all just absolutely crazy. And then after that, he came back and posted a buzzbin back flip to manual. Like, how crazy is that? I thought that was it. Mega done, like, but no, he then even went even crazier. He then did a 360 buzzbin to manual. Like, how on earth is that possible? Like a truck to manual on a box jump. Marcel's like one of the most underrated riders right now. I don't understand how he hasn't blown up, isn't like super pro. Anyway, that's my sickest thing this week. It's time to go back to the shed. Yes, thank you very much, Tom and Toff. But Toff, the sickest thing of the week, that was sick. Now, yeah. Marcel Hunt is actually big, good friends of us. Big fan of his, big yeah, fan We of are his. big fans. A truck to Manny, I mean all of them to Manny, but a truck to Manny, so much sideways movement and then landing on the back wheel, Covering the brake. Oh, I don't. That's mind Blows blowing, mind. technical, sickest thing of the week. Incredible. And he's riding a hardtail. He's riding a hardtail. Hardtail, hardtail. He's hardtail. It's like it's a theme. Oh my God. Let's let's get straight into hacks and bodgers because yeah, you're going to love it this week. I'm excited. You're excited. Quite a hacker myself. Are you? Yes. Right, straight into Hacks and Bodgers. Are you ready for oh, this? Yeah, because okay. it's really interesting. So I heard that you're a bit of a a bodge hack yourself. I, I am a hacker <laughs> and a bodger. <laughs> yeah. Right, first one is Francis K. He's a hardtail dude. 
Francis, goodness gracious me, what, what have you done? Look at it. Why he's broken his 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 hanger. It's quite something actually. I like, I like it actually. I like it, and I like it. he's getting the most out of those jockey wheels. Can he's you really see getting that? his money worth. Can you worth. see that? He's really getting he's his money really worth. He's really getting yeah. his money worth there. I, I quite enjoy that. Yeah, That's I really like good. That one. That's, That's good. a good bodge. And if it works, it works. It it's, works. Yeah. Does it work? Let us know, yeah. Francis. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Who's this? This is Tommy. This is Tommy, and he's used oh, he's a good. lot of zip ties. Boom. Cable ties. That's the dotty thing. No, I like That's the one way of getting home. I mean, How many did you get use? Home. He used uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I lost 20. count because you. Yeah. 20, I was counting over you, sorry. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He's used 20 there. And the rest, dude. That is a lot of cable ties. It was his first enduro. He felt the description of sources and messed up with zip ties. His, my saddle fell off racing. Everything was going off there. He said, no, I didn't win at the end. Guide, I blame the saddle. But he got to the end. He did get to the end. He did get. Look Good at, on him. Look Good at, on him, Tom, Tommy. Thanks for that one. Look at this next one. Magnus. Look at this one. So what's he even done? I'm so he's from Sweden. He's, he's got this thing. He's, basically, he needed some way to work on his bike. So he got a workbench and a bike stand all built in one. No, I, tell you I love what, that. I assumed that that was something that he's purchased from a high-end store. You would think that, wouldn't that you? That smells yeah. of mahogany. Yeah, and leather. And leather, mm. yeah. Leather-bound books, and yet he's actually made that. I like it. Incredible. I like it. Look at that. That's that's Ma beautiful. Magnus, you might be onto something there. I think he is. You know? Yeah. Added all that then. Wow. Well, look at that. Look at and he's got GMBN Tech on the screen on the back. Now he is a tech whiz. I like it. He is. Now oh, yeah. out of all three of them, what is your favourite? No, but your most ingenuitive. Is that actually a word? I don't know, but let's go with it. Let's the most ingenuitive it. for me. I'm actually going to go with. I'm going to go with p my personal favourite was Francis. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And yeah. it's actually because it looks the worst. It does, yeah. And I like that. I like it. Yeah, well done. That's it. Yeah, that's Francis, a proper hack and Francis, a proper bodge. Francis, you get yourself one of these beautiful mugs. Oh, well done. Lucky. Now, if you, if you want to get involved in hacks and bodges, there's a link in the description down below. Upload it to Uploader. Put your worst in there because we love seeing the most craziest bodge ever. I tell you what, I'll take you up on that offer. I've okay. got a few. Send them in. Personally, I'll put them in. <laughs> it's time for fails. Arguably, some of those hacks and bodges might be a result. Could possibly be, but this them. one's more, it's all about hardtails. So, hardtails going wrong. So, let's dive straight in. You, you ready could for say it? it's hard fails. <laughs> I like it! Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> My uh, first one comes from Ewan. He's uh, riding a 27.5 medium sized nuke proof Scout. Now, I'm a big fan of the Scout. I oh, absolutely you love it. Yeah, check this out. What's going to happen? Oh. oh, he's going fast, isn't he? He's I reckon it. there's a huge. Oh, that's a big case. That's a big case. That's I tell you what, that sends shivers down my spine. As someone with hurt ankles, <laughs> no one likes to there get oh. a, there, Look at the screen grab of that then. Oh, oh poor oh. Ewan. Poor Cranks. Poor bike. Poor bike. What's Next up, oh look at this guy. This is Nicky. Is this Nicky? This is Nicky. This is Nicky going. Oh, it is in, look, it's a bit, bit tropical, isn't yeah, it? It does look tropical, doesn't it? In fact, oh, 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 his hand came off. Front wheel washout. Hand came off the bar and he hit a palm tree. Palm tree. <laughs> what a cocktail of good and bad. That is good. You know? yeah, that's, that's, I agree. Look, he's got a good friend. There's a good cocktail now. It's a, a good friend. Waking good up friend. to a palm tree isn't all bad, is it? No, it's not. Nice and warm there, it looks like. Better than British rain. Oh, who likes that? Anyway, oh, Chick Sands. We know Chick this Sands. place. We do indeed. Who is this? It could be, it could be us. It could be any of us. This is James, giant rain. Go on, Chick James. Sands landing his first double, oh. not the way he wanted. Look. Oh. The seat bounce over the bars. <laughs> he did go it's, over the bars. I hope he's all right. I'm sure he's, he's fine. He's holding his collarbone. I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure he's <laughs> fine. <laughs> can tell what dad you are. <laughs> Charlie, you're right. I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> Get up. This is Scott on a Scott Spark. Oh, that's a bit of a coincidence. Scott and the, running a Scott. There you go. Scott. Oh! Front wheel wash up. Another front wheel wash up. Oh, look at his wrist. Doesn't look happy there, <laughs> no, does it? No. No, oh. no gloves either. Mm. <laughs> Having spent a few hours building the trail. up on these people? Uh, yeah, yeah, they said they're fine. Good, good. No one was hurt. No one was hurt. No Good. one was hurt. The Important piece of information. So fails and bails. What did you think? It just fails. There was a lot of failure, but it was good. You, good you win, win or learn. Win or learn. Well, you're learning constantly in a fail. 
Exactly. Yeah. You're not, and you're not winning. No. So you're only learning. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you don't. Anyway, <laughs> who was your favourite? <laughs> My favourite, I think, was Nikki because of the palm trees. Oh yeah. Looking up at them, going, oh, I'm in heaven. Yeah, I just love. That's a nice crash for me. Yeah, you're waking is. up and being like, oh. Yeah. And your mate smiling coming again. Yeah. Get you. So it was a good call. Yeah. yeah. Crash. But well, uh, anyway, if you want to get involved, send it to the uploader. Linked in the description down below. If you've got a crazy fail or bail or a send, well, we're not sending it. We're sending it to the next one. Yeah. This would be my favourite segment, the trail dog se segment. Oh yeah, you're a big fan of dogs. I am a big fan of dogs, but but I've just checked Martin's email, yep. hacked in. Mm -hmm. He did, yeah. And there are no submissions. How do people submit? We need trail oh, dogs. Oh, we need your trail dogs. We love seeing your dogs on the Dirt Shed Show. Yeah. Send us, send us them in to the uploader down below, because that's the only way you can get them in. We love seeing your dogs. You've got a massive dog. It's yeah. like a great dame. How, she, yeah, she's I a great it's, dame. Do you reckon it can go in there? She's called Ruby. Have you got a picture I of it? Bike riding with her. Yeah, I'll send you a picture. There we go. Yeah. That's what we want to see. I'm going to send it through the uploader down below. Right, so we're oh, now on to the caption contest. We are indeed. And yeah. uh, this was me last week doing a 360, looking at the camera and going, oh, there. Making Which a noise. is actually impressive. That is actually hard to do. Yeah, it's all right. Keep that in mind. I'm keeping it in mind. Yeah. What's okay. the first one? The first one is from Clay Brunson, and it says, Neil, walking into the shed. Right. Doddy, get the broom. Get He's the stuck in the tree again. Huh? Because you look like you're stuck in the tree. Oh, yeah. I did. he's going to get down with the broom. I didn't actually get it right at the yeah. I was like, why? Why is he coming in here? I didn't the broom, yeah. dude. Like a cat stuck in a tree. No, it's a Shouting. <laughs> Hey, we got one from Sean here. It says, when you send it without checking the landing situation and realise there is no landing. Oh my goodness me. That is, uh, yeah. That was a face you would make if you're jumping a, the hospital jump or something. <laughs> We're going down, dude. Next one is from Neuro2684. Blake wasn't expecting the tree to give him an atomic wedgie. The, the pants do look tight. Now he mentioned it, you do look like you got a little bit of a hungry bomb. <laughs> yeah, I've been hungry. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> well, I knew that. Yeah, thank you for that. Will is sent one in, right? This one. Look at this. Whose trail dog left that on the landing? He's talking about poo, of course. He's not, talking about yeah, poo. Yeah. Not toys. Imagine if it was your dog, this dog. Yeah. Doing a dump on that. It would be a landing. Yeah. It would, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. yeah. She makes landings. Yeah. She does make landings. Yeah. It's quite good that it linked to the trail dog. Then. Yeah, I like Remember, it. the submission form is just down below. <laughs> we need to see your trail dogs. <laughs> we do. And always pick up your poop. Mm -hmm. On to the next one. <laughs> Enduro underscore Dano. When you bump your dropper post lever mid jump. Mm. Ooh, imagine doing that. I have done that. Have you done that? You must have done that. I've not done that. I've done that. Should I have done that? Don't do it. That one, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, there you go. Wow, thank you very much. Do you know, we're going to have to pick a winner. We're going to send another mug to one of these beautiful people. Which one do you reckon? I don't know. There's I, a lot of good ones. There are really good. They're really good. They're really good captions. Um, what's your favourite? Uh, I'm going to go with the uh, the trail dog one. I quite like the trail I'm dog. Like Just because it involves poo and poo is always funny. Always funny. Yeah. I when, like, yeah. I don't say I like poo, but it's funny <laughs> mentioning poo. <laughs> Blake likes poo. Oh. The new merch dropping in the store very soon. <laughs> Thank you very much, Will. We got mugs sending it towards you right now. Coming up on the channel this week, we've got so much goodness coming for your eyes to feast on, Ollie. It looks good, doesn't yeah. it? It does what, look good. What are you looking forward to? I'm really looking for. I'm quite intrigued by, it's not about the bike. Do you know what that's all about? Well, it's Neil versus Bauer. It is as well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you so know the concept? What's the concept? So the concept is, we've got Tom Bauer, news Tom Bauer, he's going to be riding his bike, well one of the bikes, fast down, and Neil's going to try and lose against him. If he beats him, he downgrades a bike. He goes against him again. If he wins, he downgrades. So that he downgrades the bike till he loses. So it's to see whether the bike makes Neil slow enough to lose against. Not. A, it's not all about the bike. There you go. I love that idea. That's something special coming yeah, up. Yeah, that sounds cool. It's good, I, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot more coming up. Van life again this Thursday, and uh, yeah, there's so much more out there. The van's coming on, right? The van is coming on. Lovely. Can't wait to see it. Busy.
Right, a little merch shout out. Us guys at uh, GMBN HQ have been working on something very secretly for you beautiful viewers out there. A uh, little sneak peek coming out next week, so stick around, look at our social media because there's some epic stuff coming. Is there? Yeah, you're excited. You don't even know what it is. I know oh, what I it is. Know. It is fancy. It's <laughs> fancy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye on our social media. Right, moving on swiftly to the next. What's the next? Bike vault time. <laughs> <laughs> is this actually your favourite bit? This is my favourite bit you of the show. You love bikes. This don't you? and the the chat at the beginning. I love that. A little debate. Yeah, the debate but was this good. Is my but this is this is when it comes down to it. This is my favourite. This is it. The bike. Looking board. at all your beautiful bikes, and we're kicking off with this one from Russell. This is a Kona Stinky 2009 oh. Queen Elizabeth Country Park. That's in the UK. This is, is a single speed. What? This is set up as single speed. Look at that. I like the colour. Do you like the colour? I like, I like the colour. I like orange, yeah. I like orange. Look how big that swinging arm is. What a cool bike. It's really cool. Now, do you give it a, a nice or a super nice? I'm going to leave it up to you. Just kick off the bike bolt. Mm. I just feel like it's early for a super nice, okay. but I do really like it. Nice, then. Let's move on. Let's do nice. Let's do nice. It's really nice. Oh, really nice. Buzz. Now, that's nice. What's with the orange? It's more orange. I like this one. People like some oranges. Derbyshire. Then it's got what is it? Green grips. It's a Privateer 161, and it's uh, the, the location is just over the River Trent, near to Melbourne, Derbyshire. Melbourne, Derbyshire. What, in uh, Australia, but in Derbyshire. Is that in Australia? No, nah, dude, it's Derbyshire. <laughs> That's nice. It's it really nice. It's cranks and not. I tell you what, I like it raw. You do, you do. You My do. bike is raw. It is, yeah. Yeah. Raw. 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 Nice, super nice. 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 Right. I'm quite conservative. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I wow. Dude, next one is John Nukeproof Scar. I'm just. Oh, I'm a hardtail dude. That's yeah. my favourite bike. Yeah. And actually, that is a really nice build. Look at that MV wheels. He's got uh, foxes on there. It looks like he's upgraded the suspension on the front to a longer one. I've that done is, that. That has all the bells and whistles it for does, a hardtail, doesn't, doesn't yeah. it? You think of a hardtail as like a winter bog trotter. Yeah. yeah, but that is. It's got a lot of parts on it. It does. It does. No, that's super nice. Looks fancy. Ooh, who's this? Okay. This yeah, is what a, a sunset. This it's is Daniel. A, yeah, in the Black Forest in Germany. Schwarzwald. 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 I think that's, that's how you say it. Black Forest in German. Say it again. Schwarzwald. Yeah. Ja, ja. Well, wow, there you go. After what do you get? Uh, it's got mud guy. It's a city bike. It's a hardtail. It's a cool combination. You don't want to get splatters on you no, when you're you cruising on your hardtail. No, do you don't. You? That's nice, 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 really Thanks nice. For in and then down. Lovely sunset as well. Ooh. Now you see, now that's it. Well done, Mike. An orange crush in the right colour. Orange. It is in orange. Like you're it right just about says that. orange on your bike. You got to have orange. <clears throat> Do you know what? It's, it's the right time of year for it to be hardtail it episode, is. isn't it? It is. Yeah. You know, it's so boggy. Mm -hmm. These are good bikes for it. Yeah. Just. What do you think of tan wheels? I like tan wheels. Tan, tan. You know I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Mm. That's, what are you, super nice in that? Let's super nice oh! it. Yeah, let's super nice it. Yes! Ooh, Kotick. It's Marcus. Marcus. Coming in hot with the Kotick Jet. Ooh, look at that, that's, that's, yeah. That's nice. White walls. It's really nice, isn't it? Nice colour Onza, coordination. Is it Onza tyres, those, yeah? I think I spy I with my little lie. eye with death grips and, and Oi Oi C. Yes, you do. I spot it. It is the Oi Oi C, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. What well, are you going to give that? My good friend, Ben Deacon, is going to get a super nice. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at this one coming in from Luke. Uh, pink helmet, dude. Love it. Yes. Pink, pink helmet crew. Love it. Doing what they do. Mm. Um, he's, a, he's made it to the top. I think that is. He's made it to the top and he's ready to drop, and I'm ready to drop a super nice. Yay! Yeah. Uh, Luke. Ooh, dude. Goodness. That is Saracen orange. Mist. This is Simon Saracen Mist Al Enduro Build. So that's an aluminium Enduro Build Mist. So that is the downhill bike, but he's made it Enduro. Is it? Interesting. Yeah. You don't see that often, do you? No, you, you? don't. Oh, I'm going to give that a super nice one. Saracen Simon. Nice yeah, one, look at dude. That. Ooh, dude, I'm a big fan. 
Oh, you love fat bikes, I don't love you? Fat bikes. And it's in the snow in its actual and it's natural actually habitat. Snow. And look, carbon fogs. All the way from Canada. Oh, that's travelled a long way, that photo. Oh, well done, Derek. He's yeah. out there, he's in the snow, he's getting it done on his fat bike. It's Y Cycle's big iron titanium fat bike, titanium frame. It's at home in these elements, he says, and I, I would I, agree. I highly agree. Yeah. There we go. We're out of the bike fold, ending on a fat bike in the snow. Titanium Y bikes. I love that from Derek. Well there done. There you go. Life is good. Fat now, if bike you want to get, if you want to get involved with the dirt shed show and put your bike in the bike vault, there's a link in the description. Upload it there. Put your best bikes photos in there. It's so easy. It is. You I can't well. even get in there. Yeah, you might as well just do it. You might as well do it. It's that easy. Yeah, super nice or nice. Hopefully it's a super nice. Yeah. Add more value. Yeah. Oh, should I have done more super nices? They were all super nice. You can't. It's done. Vault's closed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the end of the show. All good things have to come to a beautiful end. But thank you very much, Dolly Wilkins, for coming on to the Dude, show this week. Thanks for having me. It's been a dream come true. It thanks is... for watching as oh, well. Thank you very much. And what a better person to talk about the foundations of mountain biking beer than the hardtail. Right? Hardtail. Yeah. I actually yeah. love it. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Me too. I had a wicked time. Great. I hope I did okay. You did alright. You did alright. Fine. Can you come back? Just this guy's not very good. Well you anyway. I'm joking. <laughs> He's done really well. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more Ollie Wilkins in the show. See ya! <laughs>